Susan has a demo on the 15 minute table runner. 10. Okay, 10, 10 15, 10 whatever it takes. <laughs> Two days. <laughs> Threading the machine doesn't count in the 10 minutes. Okay, broken threads and bobbin winding don't count in the 10 minutes. I saw a couple pieces of cellophane buried under fabric on my cutting table, and I thought, okay, what are those? And I found these two little kits with a pattern, or instructions, not a pattern, because you don't need a pattern, and the fabric. And it is called 10 Minute Table Runner. Whenever I see a pattern that says you can do it in X amount of time, I never believe them because it never works for me. But this one did. And I made two of them today. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is the first one. <laughs> There's the back. It came out really nice. Two pieces of fabric. That's all it took. There's no batting. There's no quilting. You can embellish however you want. This is the other one. It had Christmas fabric. They both turned out really nice. Yeah, they did. You said something about a button? Mm hmm. Ooh. Button, button. Who's got the button? Who's got the button? It suggests on the pattern that you can put a button at the base of the triangles on the ends so that those stay down, otherwise they're floppy. What I did tonight is I just used a little bit of Elmer's glue stick to hold them down, otherwise they kind of flop open. to embroider your coffee cup on the end? You could do that, end. yeah. That's yeah. Cute. That's a good idea. I, mean, I think what I'm going to do to embellish these is just use a decorative stitch uh, and go around. Okay, you're going to start out with two pieces of fabric. One is called a theme fabric, the other one is a coordinating fabric. The theme fabric is 10 to 12 inches wide by width of fabric. So that's what the fish are going to be. That's going to be the center part of the table runner. So the fish would be here. The coordinating fabric is also fish. So it will show and you cut it eighteen inches wide, I believe it says. Oh, between ten and twelve inches wide of your coordinating fabric. So I think you could probably, yeah, that'll go all the way down. So when it's done, you're going to have this piece in the center. You're going to have this as your borders. So we're going to go to the sewing machine. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to sew these fabrics together in a tube. So I'm going to sew them down one side and then the other and then turn it out. And that's three-fourths of the project done right there. So. So I'm using the Elna 920 mainly because this is the machine I have at home and I'm using the A foot so we're going to set this up on both sides. So we had a viewer question um, about the how long are the runner pieces? With the fabric. So 42, 45, whatever the bolt is that you've chosen. Okay. So they've made it very simple. Your right sides together of your two pieces, I'm going to sew down each side so then I have a tube. Did Marilyn make one of these? She hasn't yet. She had to she, work, she worked today until now. She is a table runner master. There you go. So we had another question. Can fleece be used in the table runner? Or is it too thick? No, it can be used. It can be used. You okay. can use anything. Just uh, keep your lint roller handy. <laughs> 
Okay, so I've got one side stitched down, and I'm just going to connect the other side the same way. Um, yeah, I was thinking as I was doing this, uh, thinking, doing two things at once, um, about putting a really lightweight, thin piece of batting in here just to give it a little more body. And that way, if you set a hot item on it, it would mm. kind of protect the area. I just like the fact that I could do it so quickly and get two of them done. Okay, I have these two pieces sewn together. It calls for pressing the seams towards the coordinating fabric. So I'm going to do that now. One of the features about this Lore Star is it has been proven that steaming your masks, your cloth mask, will kill the COVID germs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to go over to the cutting table and all we need to do is to even up the ends. So what's your thought on the fleece? I think that it'll be too thick. I would have to agree. But I understand what you're trying to do. So I think what you may be able to do, and it will definitely increase it from 15 minutes, is measure from your point to here and then just have a, a batting or something in here that, that stops. Here that stops because if you do it all the way, then it'll be too thick. I have another idea. In one of my quilt magazines, you know, they always start telling you about the new trends that are coming our way in uh, creativity. And they were talking about using corduroy for quilts. You could try using corduroy for this table runner. I think that would be really cool. A lot of texture and depth. What I was just doing so I can um, trim this off, I am getting the seams from both sides like you would nest because when we open this up our seam fabric is going to be in the center and our coordinating fabric is then going to be the side trim. So I'm just kind of getting that set to go. And if anybody's timing me out there, I know we're probably going to go over the 10 minutes. I was you just... didn't have to talk about it when you were doing it at home. You That's did true. It. I just did it. <laughs> you didn't have to narrate it? No. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting the coordinating fabric so that it is the same distance here and here. So it makes it look like you've added a border. And you have, just differently. Okay, so I'm gonna take this and fold it in half. I get real fussy about getting things straight. Marilyn says I just love to pet the fabric. That's right. <laughs> and I do. Pet it. Pet it. I'm going to take it back to the machine and I'm going to sew the edges off here a half an inch. I can sew fast also. Not as fast, but I can so fast. Did you have that rabbit turned up as far as it would go? No. It's about <laughs> three quarters turned up. Your sister's egging you on, isn't she? She is. As usual. That's my girl.
Okay. I'm, I don't think I would be real good at doing it with the Laura Star, but I would press this open as much as you can, but basically you're turning it so the seam is on. I'll come back over to the table oh. and you can see it better. There's your table, Yay! Yeah. 